Hello my gems and gentlemen, it's Patreon Miller and I will be doing a um update video from it I mean this is like long overdue. You guys asked for this like months and months and months ago and I just never, you know, did it, got around to it or whatever. But this is going to be a um I guess I'll call it a hair reveal video of how my hair is growing and the texture it is now since I had um, this haircut over a year ago. So actually it's like about a year and two months. So um, this is not my hair for those of you that are new to my channel. This is a unit that I constructed. And um, you guys got to bear with me because like I said in my previous video about my cell phone, I just learned to properly um, record my YouTube videos. So I feel like you can't really even see my hair. But yeah, there we go right there. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this unit. It is sewn around the perimeter. And I'm going to take a loose my braids. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. Show you guys right now what I use. Um, I do normally make my own shampoo and conditioner. However... <clears throat> I have found something on the market that I actually like, and I tried it on my daughter's hair first, and I fell in love with it, and that will be this Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair. It's a cleansing shampoo, and it smells absolutely amazing. I love it. But before I use that, I'm going to use my Pure Castile Soap. And I usually get it in the peppermint scent because I like like the little tingly flavor. I mean, not flavor, but feeling it gives my scalp. And this is actually my main ingredient into my homemade shampoo that I make. So if you guys want to know, you know, what I use for my homemade shampoo, let me know and I'll do a separate video on that. And then to condition my hair, I think I showed you guys this before, I'm not sure. But I use my Blackberry Coconut Milk Repairing Conditioner. Very, very good. It smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to put this stuff down into the link. I'm going to try to get better with that. I'm not making y'all no promises because, you know, it'd be too much. And last but not least, I've used this as a leave-in conditioner. This is my placenta for my older sisters. You guys know about this from back in the days. We shake this up. We pour it in our hair, and our hair gets strength from all types of places. So definitely, this is one of my um, things that I like to use. Like, I'm not so new. I'm not really new school where I like all the, like, the new things. Let me open this door. I'm sorry. This video is really echoey. Um, I'm not really like that new new school type chick where I absolutely have to try everything that's new on the market because sometimes it's good to stick to what you know. Sometimes it's good to stick to your guns and stick to the things that are, you know, old school because, you know, they work. We done tried them. My parents done tried them. So, yeah, they good. So, let me go ahead and remove this and um, maybe I'll come back and show you guys my braids before I go ahead and wash. Okay, guys, so I am just about done with um, taking the braids loose, and I thought before I go ahead and start washing it, I just wanted to mention to some, to something to you guys. I see a lot of girls all the time, they they wear wigs a lot, you know, which is a good thing because it's like a protective style, but I noticed that they um, <clears throat> take a look at their braids, and they just wash their hair with it being like this. And then a lot of people wonder why they experience, like, tangling and, you know, just a lot of shedding and stuff like that. And I found that as a natural sister, because our hair is of a coarser te texture and it's kinkier or curlier, it's more prone to tangling. So the best thing for you to do would be to go ahead and... Use a wide tooth comb or a pick like what I have. Normally what I just do is after I take a loose the rest of my braids, I go ahead and I pick my hair thoroughly to make sure that I don't have any type of kinks. And then I go ahead and, you know, wash it. So I'm going to show you guys that. Okay, guys. So after picking out my hair, this is what 
your hair should look like fully combed out, detangled, and all that good stuff like so, okay? And, um, of course you're going to lose, lose some hair. If you look this front, it's still much longer than the sides, but I'm not cutting it again. This is going to have to go like that. So I'm going to show you guys what I lost in total, which isn't really that bad. This is what I lost. It's, where's my camera? See, I'm going to have to get used to this camera. It's not much. For us, not much. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. And, and I will be, yeah, no, nose mess now. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and I'll be back. Okay, so I just put some more shampoos in my hair. And I decided not to use my peppermint shampoo only because at some sometimes I can't stand the two smells. Like when that peppermint meets this cancel, I don't I can't I can't deal with those smells together. It smells horrible. So So when I'm washing, I just, I try not to vigorate it too much because that gives tangling. So what I typically do is, I just like really scratch my scalp to get any of the dirt residue or any of that stuff that's on my scalp lifted up. You know, I do my temples, all of this right here. And... <laughs> For those of you who watch my videos on a regular basis, you know I only wear acrylics on my last two nails. So that's mostly what I use to vigorate my scalp, those last two. Okay, and then it's pretty, it's pretty clean. I can hear it squeaking and feel it squeaking. So I'm going to rinse it, wash it a second time, and come back and put the um, conditioner. Oh, that felt really good. Okay. Y'all, the shrinkage is so real. It is just so real. I just don't understand the shrinkage. It's just like, yeah. Crazy real. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my two chicks. Blackberry coconut. And I use a generous amount because I like this stuff to be totally saturated on my hair. And instantly, instantly it detangles. Look at this, y'all. It just, just now my hair was all packed down and it was feeling a little, I'm not going to say hard because I'm not going to try to put Cantu out there but it, it was it was a little hard like I it wasn't I wasn't able to you know whatever but look at this this is just gliding right through just gliding right through and what I do is I pick this out to, to, to make sure all of my strands are covered with the conditioner I don't care about how much of this I use I really don't if I run out, I will go get more. It's really good. It smells good. It feels good. It softens the hair. I see it's still very dry in the middle of my hair, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some more. And I'm just going to let this conditioner sit on for about 20 to 30 minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I am finished washing my hair and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off my turvy twist. And I do want to um, let you guys know that I do purposely leave like a little bit of conditioner into my hair just to kind of like keep the moisture. But my hair is like super soft. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the placenta in now. So 
all you need to do is just shake it up. There's going to be some like, it looks like shimmery dust at the bottom, but you just want to shake that up and go ahead and pop the top off like so. And you just want to pour it in your hair. And sometimes it suds up like, like that, especially if you don't have like all the shampoo out of your hair or all the conditioner. Which I, oh, I thought it was empty, y'all. Pour that everywhere. Oh, I still have a lot more in there. I thought it was gone. Yeah, it's like suds, and I can hear it suds in a little bit. Okay, let me get my towel. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little limb check for you guys in just certain areas. Okay, so these are my sides that used to be shaved. Hold on, I'm going to comb it, comb it back here. And as I said, I've cut it four times since then so that both sides were even. Because if you guys remember, one side was shaved with designs and the other side didn't have designs. So I'm right here, past my ears. Ha! So happy. And let's see the back back here. Let's see where we are back here. So back here we are. Let's straighten it a little bit. And we'll see where. Y'all know I'm trying to get all my little pull in there. Don't play with me. Okay, so I'm like about here. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm right here. Mm-hmm. I know y'all see me. So, this is what I need for you guys to do. Um, I am going to wait to see in the morning my response because I've already asked on Facebook and I... I asked the question of what should be my next um, style. Should it be um, a halo braid, a top knot bun, or a ponytail bun, like the weave ponytail bun, like a regular bun. You know, just to, to show some of the styles that you guys have been requesting and I have not been getting to. So go ahead and let me know. Which do you prefer? And I will do the video tomorrow. A halo braid a top knot bun or a um a regular bun with a ponytail like you know with the regular hair or whatever let me know okay you guys well that's really gripping that all right guys so i'm gone and i'll see y'all tomorrow